A number of polities have declared independence and sought diplomatic recognition from the international community as de jure sovereign states, but have not been universally recognized as such. These entities often have de facto control of their territory. A number of such entities have existed in the past. There are two traditional doctrines that provide indicia of how a de jure sovereign state comes into being. The declarative theory defines a state as a person in international law if it meets the following criteria. A defined territory. A permanent population. A government, and a capacity to enter into relations with other states. According to the declarative theory, an entity's statehood is independent of its recognition by other states. By contrast, the constitutive theory defines a state as a person of international law only if it is recognized as such by other states that are already a member of the international community. Proto states often reference either or both doctrines in order to legitimize their claims to statehood. There are, for example, entities which meet the declarative criteria with de facto partial or complete control over their claimed territory, a government and a permanent population, but whose statehood is not recognized by any other states. Non-recognition is often a result of conflicts with other countries that claim those entities as integral parts of their territory. In other cases, two or more partially recognized states may claim the same territorial area, with each of them de facto in control of a portion of it as have been the cases of the Republic of China Taiwan and the People's Republic of China PRC, and North and South Korea. Entities that are recognized by only a minority of the world states usually reference the declarative doctrine to legitimize their claims. In many situations, international non-recognition is influenced by the presence of a foreign military force in the territory of the contested entity, making the description of the country's de facto status problematic. The international community can judge this military presence too intrusive, reducing the entity to a puppet state where effective sovereignty is retained by the foreign power. Historical cases in this sense can be seen in Japanese-led Manchukuo or the German-created Slovak Republic and independent state of Croatia before and during World War II. In the 1996 case Loizaidu v. Turkey, the European Court of Human Rights judged Turkey for having exercised authority in the territory of northern Cyprus. There are also entities which do not have control over any territory or do not unequivocally meet the declarative criteria for statehood but have been recognized to exist de jure as sovereign entities by at least one other state. Historically this has happened in the case of the Holy See 1870-1929, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania during Soviet annexation, and more recently the state of Palestine at the time of its declaration of independence in 1988. The Sovereign Military Order of Malta is currently in this position. See List of Governments in Exile for Unrecognized Governments Without Control Over the Territory Claimed. Topic. Criteria for inclusion Topic. The criteria for inclusion means a polity must claim sovereignty, lack recognition from at least one UN member state, and either satisfy the declarative theory of statehood, or be recognized as a state by at least one UN member state. Topic. Background Topic. There are 193 United Nations UN member states, while both the Holy See and the State of Palestine have observer state status in the United Nations. However, some countries fulfill the declarative criteria, are recognized by the large majority of other states and are members of the United Nations, but are still included in the list here because one or more other states do not recognize their statehood, due to territorial claims or other conflicts. Some states maintain informal officially non-diplomatic relations with states that do not officially recognize them. The Republic of China Taiwan, is one such state, as it maintains unofficial relations with many other states through its economic and cultural offices, which allow regular consular services. This allows the ROC to have economic relations even with states that do not formally recognize it. A total of 56 states, including Germany, Italy, the United States, and the United Kingdom, maintain some form of unofficial mission in the ROC. 
Kosovo, the Republic of Artsakh, Nagorno-Karabakh, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, Abkhazia, Transnistria, the Sahrawi Republic, Somaliland, and Palestine also host informal diplomatic missions and or maintain special delegations or other informal missions abroad. Topic: <laughs> Present geopolitical entities by level of recognition. Topic: Topic. UN member states not recognized by at least one UN member state Topic. Topic. UN observer states not recognized by at least one UN member state Topic. Topic. States that are neither UN members nor UN observers Topic. Topic. Excluded entities Topic. The Sovereign Military Order of Malta is a non-state sovereign entity and is not included, as it claims neither statehood nor territory. It has established full diplomatic relations with 105 sovereign states as a sovereign subject of international law and participates in the United Nations as an observer entity. Although it is not recognized as a subject of international law by France, the order maintains official, but not diplomatic, relations with France and also with five other states, Germany, Belgium, Switzerland, Luxembourg and Canada. Uncontacted peoples who either live in societies that cannot be defined as states or whose statuses as such are not definitively known. Entities considered to be micronations are not included. Even though micronations generally claim to be sovereign and independent, it is often debatable whether a micronation truly controls its claimed territory. For this reason, micronations are usually not considered of geopolitical relevance. For a list of micronations, see List of micronations. Those areas undergoing current civil wars and other situations with problems over government succession, regardless of temporary alignment with the inclusion criteria e.g. by receiving recognition as state or legitimate government, where the conflict is still in its active phase, the situation is too rapidly changing and no relatively stable rump states have emerged yet. Rebel groups that have declared independence and exert some control over territory, but that reliable sources do not describe as meeting the threshold of a sovereign state under international law. Examples include Donetsk People's Republic, Luhansk People's Republic and the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant see list of rebel groups that control territory for a more complete list of such groups. Those of the current irredentist movements and governments in exile that do not satisfy the inclusion criteria by simultaneously not satisfying the declarative theory and not having been recognized as state or legitimate government by any other state. Some states can be slow to establish relations with new UN member states and thus do not recognize them, despite having no dispute and sometimes favorable relations. These are excluded from the list. Topic. See also Topic Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Topic Further reading Topic. Geldenheis, Dion 2009. Contested States in World Politics. Palgrave Macmillan. ISBN 978-0-230-23418-5. Kerr Lindsay, James 2012. The Foreign Policy of Counter-Secession, Preventing the Recognition of Contested States 1st ed. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780199698000. Kerr, Lindsay, James. 